Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. There's an inherent problem with democracy. Actually, it's definitional. It's this. Everyone gets to vote. That's right. Everyone gets to vote. Consider for a moment. The informed get to vote. Those who have studied the candidates and issues and consider the impact on not only themselves, but the society at large. But in addition to the informed, the ignorant get to vote as well those who have studied nothing and don't care about anything except themselves and their own narrow interests. Imagine the scene. Two voters walking into voting booths side by side. One casts a vote with an eye to improving the society at large by rolling back abortion, defending traditional marriage, reducing government's ability to crush families with heavy taxation, etc. Such a voter casts his vote with an eye to the common good, the authentic common good, what's best for the culture as a whole. Right next to him is a voter who doesn't give a hoot about society at large. All he cares about is his own selfish, selfish interest of ensuring abortion stays legal so he can have sex with no consequences, or have his decision to have sex with another man celebrated as a right. Such a voter exhibits little else than an adolescent preoccupation with self-absorption. And imagine, he actually gets to vote. What a country! What a system! And it is a system that will end in self-destruction. The nature of man is to be self-absorbed. That is because our nature is fallen. It no longer looks at God. It looks rather into a mirror. In fact, it stares into the mirror, totally absorbed, and can think of little else. This is why, if we're going to insist on a system where we elect leaders, if we're going to insist on that system, only virtuous people should be allowed to vote. Ruthless men and women who, knowing human nature very well, and thereby the means to control and manipulate it, wield great influence over the selfish masses. They, con they connive and scheme their way to power by appealing to the most base level of human ignorance, namely the appeal to a false sense of liberty. They class everything in terms of rights, a right to marry your homosexual sex partner, a right to kill your child, a right to have others in society pay for your lack of effort, your desire for contraception, food, housing, medical services, education, clothes, anything that can be imagined. Such societal parasites will cast their votes in such a way that will only hasten the destruction of a nation. It's like a cancer destroying its host. It enjoys ravaging the body, until the body is dead. The cancer must be eliminated, and o the only way to prevent a democracy from committing suicide is to limit the vote to faithful Catholics. Only a true Catholic nation, in fact, will survive, can survive, because only truly Catholic people will be the ones looking at God and not staring in the mirror. When they cast their votes, they cast them with an eye to what God desires, not fallen human nature. But as the body politic continues to be ravaged by the cancer of ignorant, self-centered voters, it becomes more and more clear that a national euthanasia is occurring. But in truth, this is really the way the whole idea of democracy is little less than an experiment doomed to failure from the outset. Eventually, the evil in the heart of man overtakes him when he dismisses God. No, the only way to run a country is by benevolent dictatorship. A Catholic monarch who protects his people from themselves and bestows on them what they need, not necessarily what they want, who protects their rights as human beings. It was this political system that caused Europe to emerge from the morass of marauding barbarians and create Western civilization. A noble Catholic monarch advances the common good while loving and caring for his people. If you think about it, this is exactly how the universe is governed, isn't it? Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. God bless you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.